Chapter 21 Spiritual Battles Within weeks of finishing the house, a new client was referred to me for healing work. He had been to every major specialty hospital, yet no one could help him. He was unable to eat, unable to drink, and his life was on a downward spiral. I wanted so badly to help him. Clearing his energy on my massage table, I noticed strange reactions in his body as I moved around him. I ran healing energy, calling in the angels to assist. He was lying on his back as I approached his heart center. Sensing a strong block, I was shocked at what happened when I increased the energy. This man's shoulder blades, head, and heels remained touching the table, but his back, chest, and abdomen arched off of it. Freaked, I quickly prayed and asked for immediate help. I heard the angels whisper, Pray a binding of the dark spirits. Breathe and stay calm. He didn't even seem phased. His eyes remained closed while I went to work on binding the entity attached to his heart. I did as much clearing work as I could, binding entities as I went. Once finished, I struggled to explain to the client what had happened. He didn't seem surprised by anything I told him. Before the session, he hadn't been able to drink. Now, he was suddenly thirsty. I was relieved. He drank without vomiting the water. It was obvious he needed help. I was willing, but unsure of what to do. Finally, Spirit told me to invite him to stay for a few days or a week until we could clear all the entities attached to him. It seemed like a crazy idea, but I knew I wouldn't be able to help him if he left. He seemed relieved by the idea and agreed to stay in our guest room. Putting a stranger in the guest room upstairs from the family with protection in place was a crazy idea to me. I always listened to my angels and guides, so I had to see this through. I put a circle of salt under his bed to protect him and a line of salt at the bedroom door to contain anything still attached. It seemed to work. The following day, he was able to eat a meal and drink water without any issues. I began formulating a plan to free him of these negative attachments. Days of clearing work included surrounding him in a circle from a hose with running water outside, working while Brindy was at school. I had a helper who was fluent in Latin help me as we worked to clear the demons. During one particular attempt, the most miraculous event occurred. My assistant and I were reciting prayers, calling the demons out to release him. The air was still and warm without a hint of a breeze. Then, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a large streak of silver, and both my assistant and I heard the sound of large wings flapping. Just as the energy was intensifying and the demons were losing power, a brisk whirlwind surrounded us. The whirlwind was located to the right where we were sitting. Taller than the roof of my house, I saw a glimpse of Archangel Michael with his sword drawn. We continued to pray as the wind continued to swirl around us. It was like being transported to some other place. Finally, two of the three entities left, the wind instantly disappearing with them. It was over, at least for the moment.